How do I know if I'm good enough for college baseball? Here are some baseline numbers you should have if you want to play in college. I've heard some wild numbers thrown around about what a college player should have. So in my opinion, here are some very accurate numbers that you can shoot for if you want to play college baseball. Number one, exit velocity. I'd say if you're 90 to 93 miles per hour off of the tee, you can absolutely play in college. This will play at the D3, D2 level, JUCO, maybe even the D1 level. If you are consistently in the 90s off the tee, you can absolutely compete. Will you be the best on the team? No, probably not, but it totally will play. I played at the D1 and D2 level, and in my experience, there were usually only about six to seven guys that could break the 95 mile per hour exit below mark, and everybody else found themselves in the high 80s or low 90s. If you are in the 95 five mile per hour or higher range consistently off the tee, you are going to be one of the top players at your school and you can likely play in division one baseball. Now obviously there's so much more to the game than just exit velocity, but I'm saying strictly from a numbers standpoint, if you are 95 miles per hour or higher, you're definitely going to be one of the better hitters on the team. College arm strength. Listen up on this one. I've heard tons of misinformation on this. If you have an 85 mile per hour arm, you are easily an above average college infielder. But coach, I heard that I have to throw 95 plus to be an above average arm. <laughs> no, you don't. Very few people in college actually throw that hard. Very few people in pros actually throw that hard. If you don't believe me, I understand, that's fine. I've heard tons of numbers on the internet that are way higher than that. But I want you guys to think about this. Here are the numbers based off of the top 5% hardest throws across all of the major leagues at the position of shortstop. So if shortstop Dansby Swanson say made 100 throws, we're taking the five hardest throws and averaging them. The average top 5% throw from shortstops across all of major leagues, guess, 85.9 miles per hour. So yes, if you are throwing 85 on the infield on your absolute max hardest throw, okay, you might not quite be where the major leaguers are, but you absolutely can compete in college with that kind of arm. If you're throwing 90 miles per hour plus across the diamond, you are going to be one of the top infielders, at least from the arm strength perspective on the field. Once again, same goes for the outfield. If your arm is 85 to 90 miles per hour on a crow hop from the outfield, you're gonna be an above average arm in college. If you're 90 to 95 miles per hour, you are definitely going to be one of the best arms on your college team. I don't care if you're division one, division two, JUCO. Once again, for reference, the league average hardest throw taken from the top 10 percentile is an even 90 miles per hour. If you can throw 90 miles per hour plus, you can be an elite outfielder or infielder with that kind of arm. Now, does this mean that you're gonna throw the hardest on the team? No, you're probably not. There's probably gonna be some guy on the team who can throw in the upper 90s, but I'm just talking about baselines to shoot for. If you are throwing above 90 miles per hour, if you're hitting 95 plus off of the tee, you are going to be one of the top percentiles across the board. Finally, sprint speed. I don't know why we still go off of a 60 yard dash, but for whatever reason, 60 yard dash seems to be the baseline in baseball, even though we never run 60 yards at one time on the field ever, at least not in a straight line. Anyways, if your 60 yard dash time is below a 7.0, you are likely going to be one of the faster guys on your college team. Are you gonna be the fastest? No, absolutely not. But a sub 7.0 is a solid number and that will get you stealing bases, that will totally get you on the field. If your 60 time is a 6.8 or lower, you're likely going to be one of the faster guys on the team and definitely a stolen base threat. If you are a 6'6 or better, you are going to be elite. Between the two colleges that I played for, I've only seen a handful of guys who have a sub 6'6 six, 60-yard six, dash time. If you have a sub 6'6 six, 60-yard six, dash, that is absolutely elite. Are you shocked by these numbers? Again, maybe you are, maybe you aren't, but I've heard lots of different numbers thrown around on the internet like, oh, you need a sub 6'4 six, 60 if you want to be seen. You need a sub 6'6 six, six, 60 if you want to be considered even remotely fast in college. You need a sub 6'8 if you even want to play in college. And honestly, I play with plenty of guys who can steal bases who are a 7'0 flat or maybe even a 7'1. So I just want to make this video, guys, to show you some more realistic numbers, because seriously, with the internet, you see the best of the best all the time. You see the perfect game All-Americans. You see the guys with 100 mile per hour arms, 100 mile per hour exit velos off the tee. And you don't necessarily have to be that guy if you want to play in college. Now, my goal for this is not to dissuade you and tell you, oh, don't work hard. You don't need to get your numbers up. You do. All of those numbers really do help. And I worked my butt off to get my numbers up as high as I possibly could. Maybe your exit velos are 80 miles an hour off the tee. Okay, well, the end is in sight. Maybe set the goal of getting to 90. Maybe set the goal of getting to 85 with your arm strength. Those are 
absolutely reasonable goals and if you can reach them I guarantee a college team will have a spot for you whether it's at the JUCO level whether it's at the D2 level or whether it's at the D1 level now I don't know if these numbers are shocking to you but again I'm getting my data from StatCast MLB.com's website directly and I'm also getting my data from my own playing experience from playing Division 1 baseball from playing Division 2 baseball I've kind of seen it all and from all of that I can promise you guys these are accurate numbers accurate baselines to shoot for as always guys be relentless go get those numbers up